Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about the glycemic index diet. It's a very simple diet that classifies the carbohydrates into three categories in a scale from 1 to 100. The first category falling between 1 to 55. That's a good quality of carbohydrate means it's a complex one mixed with the fibers. It could be protein. It's usually slow digestion in our stomach and then will lead to a slow increase, gradual increase in the blood sugar in the bloodstream, which is very good. It will slow down digestion, slow down the secretion of the insulin and doesn't exhaust our pancreas. It's usually the healthy type of carbohydrate that we need to rely on. And the second category is between 56 up to 69. So this type of carbohydrate also is acceptable, like moderate. It's not as good as the first one, but doesn't go, doesn't cause a spike in a carbohydrate. And then finally, uh, the bad one is greater than 70 to 100. It's a simple carbohydrate like starchy food or made from flowers, uh, bakeries, candies, sugary drinks. This kind of food that of uh, carbohydrate are bad for our system. It will lead to a spike in the sugar and then the insulin will come high and then turn on to be fat, more fat accumulation and lead to obesity and poor control of blood sugar. So this kind of that is very simple. It makes us aware how to eat and how to classify the carbohydrate we eat into the three categories, the lower score, definitely the better outcome for our health. On the other hand, it will help also to um, control the blood sugar in our system. So it will prevent or delay the progression of type 2 diabetes. And then it definitely because of controlling the sugar and mobilizing the, the fat in our system because of low energy, that will lead to weight loss, so it will be a very uh, good diet to contribute for weight management in the future. The bad thing about this diet doesn't really address the nutritional value of the food, it's just focusing on the carbohydrate part, but at least we still give us a concept of the carbohydrate and how you classify it to be aware of how you eat. Hopefully that will help to uh, give us uh, that chance to select the kind of food that would be healthy for us. Thank you, I'll talk to you next time.